morning. This is Dr. Rajkumar Arya, Associate Professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, NIT Jalandhar. Today I am going to explain the modeling of PA system using equilibrium constant model. So these are the details people can view to my web page. So PA system with equilibrium constant model. So what you have here So in this case what you have traditional approach to keep amount of various chemical species in the system. Each point in time hydrogen and concentration is calculated by set of system of nonlinear algebraic equations. So what you have here suppose we have considered three acids. Uh, those are the dissociating in the system. So let's say first acid is HA and its concentration at some particular time is CA. So CA include actually both the concentra uh, concentration dissociated plus und undissociated both and the another acid we are considering here let's say HB is concentration is CB then the third acid is C and its concentration is CC. So if we write the dissociation equation for each acid for HA will go to HA ion plus A ion then HB will go to the H ion plus B ion HC will go to the H ion plus C ion so these are the three dissociation equations for three acids now these are the reversible and have different forward reactions and the reverse rate constants so if you write the equilibrium constant for each of the dissociating acids, so if you write Ka that is H plus A, A minus ion upon HA then for, uh, for acid HB we have Kb equal to H plus and B minus and HB and then we have Kc H <coughs> sorry H plus C minus HC. So uh, these are the th uh, three actually the resultant uh, dissociation equations and these need to be solved simultaneously in order to calculate the H and concentrations. So to get the H and concentration and uh, once we have H and we can get the pH of the system actually. So how we are calculating? So let's say we are calculating x the fractions of HA di dissociated, y the fractions of HB dissociated, z is the fraction HC dissociated. So concentration of uh, A negative ions would be x, B negative ions would be y, C negative ions is z. Concentration of un dissociated HA would be CA minus X, undissociated HB, CB minus Y, undissociated HC would be CC minus Z. Total hydrogen ion concentration H would be X plus Y plus Z. And uh, now these uh, all these concentrations would be substituted back into these particular equation 4, 5, 6 and these need to be solved by iterative techniques and the constant is here total H and will go to the this H and would be X plus Y plus Z. So this will be the iterative process and uh, can be solved by any iterative techniques and uh, this is how we can calculate the pH of the system. For this particular technique we know the what acids are there they are the dissociation and dissociation constant. Without that this particular technique will not work. Thank you.